Thanks for tuning into this video. We're going to be doing a simple neck taper. Disclaimer, if you think that this neck taper is too high, all you have to do is follow the same steps, just keep the guideline shorter. So just compress everything, but still complete the same steps. So here we have the lever fully open on the clipper and we're making a one inch guideline. So what we're going to do next, we're going to fully close the lever on the clipper and begin blending up. And as we continue to go up, we're going to open up the lever just a little bit each time. Here I open up the lever about a quarter of the way and continue to go up. Be sure to comb after every few passes and then I open the lever one more time just a little bit past halfway and I'm going right up under that line. Be careful not to go right up to the line because then you'll end up raising the fade. Next I have on the number one guard. The steps with this guard are lever open, lever closed, and then we're gonna blend in the middle with the lever halfway open. And just for reference, the hair on top is cut down with the one and a half guard with the grain. So we just made our guideline at the top with the lever open. Now we're blending at the bottom with the lever closed. And you can see the blend is coming together. And then now we open the lever halfway and blend in between that one open and one closed. To some of you, this may look already blended. However, we're just gonna be a little bit more precise. We're gonna take our half guard with the lever halfway open and blend right up under that one guard closed. Be careful not to go up too high with this guard. And as you see, I just closed it going right up under that. So to debulk this area, I'm going to take the one and a half guard with the lever fully open and I'm gonna close it as needed. Notice I'm just feathering. I'm not really using a lot of pressure because I don't want to create another guideline or raise the taper any higher. And then I close it and go right up under that. Lastly, I take the one guard one more time. And at this point, I'm just doing detail work. I'm just softening up the blend making sure that there's, there's that nice transition from skin to light to medium to dark. I don't want to see any harsh lines or dark spots in the blend. So that's all I'm doing right here. And it's better to start with the lever open. That way the clipper is more forgiving. It won't take off as much hair. You can take the hair off, but you can't put it back on. And just do this until you're satisfied and be sure to check your mirror because it will show you any imperfections in the haircut. And it should look something like this. Next, we're moving on to the neck lineup. And a lot of people struggle with taking this in too far. You don't have to push the line in. Just really stay on the natural pattern that the hair grows. And as long as your trimmers are set, you can get a, a nice sharp line. And use the corner of your blade when you're going around the ear. There's really no point in trying to use a straight blade when you're trying to make a curve. So you only need a few of the teeth. And you can manipulate the trimmer however you need to. But it's more so just etching like a pencil. I'm not over exaggerating that arch. I'm really just more so following the natural curve. If you push it up, it will look bad once it grows back. If you're new to this channel and if you got value out of this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Subscribing really helps the channel grow. It would be a great Christmas gift if you guys could help this channel get to 300,000 subscribers. That would really make my year. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and I will catch you all in the next one.